Well, it's still dark, but I can see that. 31 degrees at the moment. I would imagine it's going to go down another one or two degrees. Clear skies. And let's see. Becky's got to go to the other side of that hill over there. First thing this morning. It's going to leave her in a few minutes. Go we'll take her dad down to McMinnville so they got to run the infamous Highway 47. Which I'm sure it's froze over. Yeah, she should know that, but yeah, you know. I already told her, get her car fired up, get her windows cleared because they're froze over. Anyway, see how the day goes. We're only supposed to be like freaking 45 today, I think. So, you know, tease us. Let's get froze good and then get warm. Even though that warm is going to feel cold, it's 99% humidity in case you're wondering, so everything is soaked. That's a wee bit prettier than earlier. Figured I'd get that for you while I'm walking out here to uh, tell the ladies they're done eating breakfast. Well, they're done eating dinner, I should say. Breakfast is in its feeder in this barn. Not all of them are out there, but there's a fair number. Anyway, though, there's your sunrise on the 8th of November. <clears throat> Makes you think about a big and rich song. If you know it, play it loud. And, of course, hey, the magical election day. I'll be amazed if with all the crap going on, that if it is a fair one, you know, yeah, we'll find out. Well, we'll probably never find out if it was fair, but we'll find out what happens of it. There you go, Nelson. Zero trucks out. Yeah, it's that time. Always fill the top one first. There's 50 gallons in there. Then when uh, that one's empty, we know how much we have left. She's thrilled. It's cold out. I'm exhausted. I'm ready to sleep in my own bed. And uh, last time this was filled was middle of April last spring. So. The end of April. End of April. Somewhere in there. It was in April anyway. And we keep it at 50 degrees. So you know how our spring went. Furnace ran quite often. Until about the middle of June. And it's been running like crazy lately. Especially when it's been as cold as it's been. Hey, look at that. I actually looked at my phone earlier and it said 0% chance of rain today. That's better than it said yesterday. We got like three or four days where it's not supposed to rain at all. Amazing. Surprised to see him. First time Well, I sick. can't see it in the video worth a then damn. Just, but shit on me. just a little baby. He just come off the wall here when the dogs ran over the top of it. It's a stink. Poor guy. And I'm in the hole right here. He needs to go find him a warm spot. And There's a hole right there. Go hide, just like that. You can rub it off in the bushes. That was the first time holding a snake, by the way. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's slow with that. And she used to kill him all the time, and I told her to move. No, I didn't. No, I'm talking to you about I your mother. Say, I never. That was in the video. No, it was your mother as you walking away, yeah, flipping kidding. us all off. Yeah, we used to have a lot of them around here, especially when we had no, all this. Thinking. Used to be uh, where we stored round bales before the barn was built. They'd be underneath the plastic as we were taking bales out. And they'd be bigger around my thumb and two, three feet long. This is how our day's turning out. It's 50 degrees. They lied. They said it was only going to be like 41 today. Of course, they also said it was going to rain, and then they changed their mind. So, Anyway... Um, Brooke and Matt were here since they, they've been out of town over the weekend. And, well, they were here. Ty then got Matt to move hay on the deck for her. So that was a good thing. Saves me and Ty then having to do it. And, oh, let's see. Oh, hooked the air up to the two pressure washers that we'd been using and got them blown completely out since it's supposed to be colder than it has been 
And you already seen we had to fill the tanks in the shop. And now I, I walked out without my coat. I'm hoping that's not going to be a bad thing. Because it might cool off. I don't know. Anyway, back in the shop and go through some stuff. Oh yeah, and Ty's going to get that little sprayer emptied out. At least that's the plan. There's only, I don't know, five, maybe ten gallons in the tops. It needs to get emptied. Good thing is, you know, mixed chemical usually takes a little, little colder to freeze it. And Becky's planning on getting rid of some of the green haze. I don't know if you can see it in the shadow of the trailer, but that's all growing grass from unloading bales there. And there's a little green haze over here in the middle of the driveway. Here and there. So, it's going to get used. And I'll see what else we find for you. Well, this looks better than last night's attempt. Last night they were all crowded up here. So I couldn't go like that and have the gate actually open. Then I'm going to stand back. Because the night before, I, I found I got splattered there up almost to my chest. Blue, back off. And they still got... You know, there's probably almost a full bale in a far feeder, actually. In between these two, there's probably... Half. See how long we can make it, make it work. And it's cooling off really good already. At 50 degrees felt good unless the wind blew and the wind was out of the east. And then it felt like 30. So, they're getting used to this. They figured it out. They don't got to sit here and bell her by the gate all day. They got it figured out anyway. They just got to remember. Except for the young ones. The, the, oh, the two-year-olds in here, the... They had their own pen and had access to hay 24-7 till now, till they got out with this group. We got to get them. Yeah, got to get them out of here. Actually, the coming year, like, got to get out of here and get back in the two-year-old pen. And the forecast at the moment now, I think Thursday we got, Thursday or Friday is like 20% chance of moisture. Otherwise, it's zero for the seven-day. And uh, the lane here looks like it's settling up enough that I might be able to scrape it tomorrow or the next day. And I think we're going to try to get some manure hauled out. Driveway finally firmed up good. And you can see the creeks up enough. You can see it good from up here now. If things firm up, we can get out. Just got to figure where we're going for sure. I know we're going back into the West Hayfield because the part that got covered, it, it did okay. The other part, I mean, it didn't even catch up with anything. So the east end of it needs a good layer of shit. And I'll take those piles. Mm -hmm. That one, there's actually quite a bit of rock in that one. Ron didn't know the bricks were in there. I think I see a piece of rebar too. And of course some sticks. I'll shove that up so it's not out in the lane. And then I was thinking I could, without just having to screw around with the cows, I could come in this end like we did last year, but too much stuff to move. And to top that off, those two piles are in the way to be able to get the tractors around and back in there. So the cows will probably get, I don't know, we may put them back in the bottom. There's something to eat there. It's just, yeah, it's filler. That's all it is. And if we can slam it hard in there, get the main part of the barn done in a couple of days, which I don't think is going to take long. The worst thing now is that hard dirt underneath the manure is going to be slick. And, you know, I got a rubber tired machine. Somewhere around here I got. Oh, 
you don't go by that gate. That's my gate. Yeah, she changed her mind. She better change her mind, too. Um, I put tire change on it before we get the barn done. It's just a matter of finding them. I know where one set is. And tire chains on this gets stereo pain in the butt, but they work. So, anyway, and that freaking wind. It's bad when the little stuff on the ground is showing that it's windy. <laughs> I keep my back to it. Um, I mean, how we can clean where 224 is there. That'll realistically take about a day to do. Put her out here and they can fight. I don't know. And uh, that'll keep us out of the way of the cows for a day. And get into this and they can be down in the bottom for a bit. Worst thing is we get in here. I got to scrape all that. And you know, rock floats, believe it or not. So we get some rock out in the pasture. It happens. Anyway, that's more than a long enough video for tonight. Let's see what the morning brings. And this is Monday, right? So, or is this Tuesday? No, oh, this is Tuesday. I'm missing it here. So, hope you all had a good Tuesday. And uh, have a great hump day, everybody. Thanks for watching. And hey, hit that like. You know, I get all these views and hardly any likes. I don't know. I don't like begging for stuff, but common courtesy, you know. That's why I look at it. If I'm going to watch somebody's video, I'm going to hit the like. Unless I really dislike it, then I'm not going to hit nothing. And I'll just move on.